A man from Canada is making his way back to Toronto after traveling the world for the past seven years. But what makes his trip unique, he has been traveling using anything but motorized transportation. That means no planes, no trains, no cars. He has not even used an elevator. Marcus Paconin joins us live to tell us more about his journey. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Dan and Sarah. How are you? We're great. Good. We appreciate you joining us. So tell us about the inspiration for taking this on. Are you making an environmental statement here, or is this just a personal challenge? A bit of both. It's uh, combining everything I love, everything I'm passionate about, and putting it into one project and making it my life, making it my dream. There's nothing I'd rather be doing on the planet. We're seeing lots of video here, canoes. You're crawling there at one point, sailboats, uh, <laughs> an interesting bike there. What is that, a pogo oh stick? Oh, my goodness. I, I pogo sticked for six miles through the city of Winnipeg. It took me five hours. <laughs> Was there anything, like, how did you decide pogo sticks? I don't even understand. That was just a, you know, a barroom conversation with a friend making a joke, yeah, <laughs> and I took him up on it. You know, that was actually the only thing I didn't think I, I would be able to do, but the two to three weeks before that, I spent uh, on a hand cycle, and it was a very similar motion. So you traveled the world here. Did, did you sail from uh, across oceans or anything? I did. I sailed from San Francisco to Hong Kong in a 30-foot sailboat. <laughs> And then I, uh, after COVID in India, I sailed on a 27-foot sailboat around uh, South Africa and ended up in Florida on that sailboat eventually after two years on it. It looks like you had some company at some point there, Did, or were you by yourself most of the time? I was, say I was by myself for the majority of the time on the ocean, but my sister did sail with me through the Philippines, which was uh, wonderful. I wasn't sure how that was going to go in the first <laughs> case, but uh, we got along very well. It was wonderful. Did I read that you met your girlfriend on this trip, too? I have met a few girlfriends. Oh, but, oh. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 well, I'm currently I'm currently single. Oh, okay. Okay. He's there. like, I have a girlfriend in every continent. It's very, very convenient. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, where was the most challenging? I wish. Not, where, not the case. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Uh, where was the most uh, challenging terrain or the most uh, challenging leg of this? Well, you know, that's really hard to say. Uh, there's been many, many challenging legs. Uh, skiing across British Columbia uh, in the middle of winter, obviously, was extremely challenging. I had no tent, so I was shoveling snow from under trees and, and starting a fire to stay warm at night. Uh, sailing the oceans was challenging at first, but you get pretty used to life out on the ocean. That became a bit easier. But I'd say, realistically, the most challenging has been cycling on roads, uh, you know, breathing in the exhaust of cars throughout Asia and getting horns honked in your ear and just basically accepting that you could get hit by a car at any time and your life could end. That, that uh, you know, it, it wears you down a bit. Yeah, no kidding. Now, are you done with yeah. the journey at this point or are you still, you got to go back to a real job and make money? How is this working? <laughs> Not quite done. I still okay. have, uh, I'm actually planning on kayaking across the lake, uh, Lake Ontario from St. Catharines into Toronto. Oh, wow. And then uh, this Saturday, July 8th, uh, I've invited anybody and everybody to join me for the final walk through the city. Uh, well, I'll, I'll end the trip back where I started, uh, back on the street where I was born, back where my ashes, the ashes of my parents uh, lay there in Toronto. And uh, that, will, that will be the done, that will be the trip end. Uh, but as far as whether I'm going to get back in a car or, or fly in a plane, I, I haven't decided yet. Uh, I really do enjoy this, this way of life that I've created for myself. Uh, I really appreciate moving slow. And uh, yeah, I, I definitely have sort of created a different reality for myself. And yeah. I, I really enjoy living and, it. And Marcus, but tell I, us, how do, you, how do you fund your travels? I'm mostly crowdfunded. Uh, so I've been documenting the trip. Uh, filming it for the purpose of making a film at the end, but I also have a YouTube channel and uh, I'll write a book at the end. So I've sort of given those in, in return for people's funding. Oh, well, it's amazing, Marcus. Let's go ahead and put yeah. your uh, information on the screen here. We really appreciate you uh, the talking with us. There's the website there, rootsofchange.org. Uh, and you can follow him on the uh, social media, uh, all those uh, channels there. Uh, Marcus, really appreciate uh, your time this morning. Thank you. Thanks, Marcus. Uh, thank you. Have a good day. You too.